So today is day 10 of the cuttings and they have grown amazingly. And this is the coleus variety here. And also in between those days, I did take a little cutting of a morning glory bush and stuck it in here. So I'll check and see how that's doing. Um, but that was about four or five days ago. But I wanna pot up these cause this is getting a little crowded. And then let me show you the hydrangeas right here. And actually on day nine, let's see if I can flip this over and show you. I started seeing roots actually coming through the bottom. And so that was pretty amazing. I was excited about that. I think it has to do with the humidity right now. And right now, August, Central Florida, this is perfect. And this is first, first, first days of August. I think it's August 4th, 5th today. Um, right here you can see the roots coming through the bottom here. So I know that I can start separating these. When I do the cuttings, I cram as many in as possible because sometimes they don't all take. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, potting soil in the bottom of this deep. Okay, and I filled it about an inch and a half from the top with some potting soil. Now I'm just going to gently kind of squeeze the bottom here and just lay it onto this tray. This is actually a um, a water catcher that you put at the bottom. And let's take a peek at what we're going on here. Yeah, we've got some little roots coming now. And there we have, this is a good sturdy one. Let's bring it up close so you can see. And I'm rooting them, I'm separating them right now when they're younger, just so that I'm not gonna disturb the roots as much. And I'm gonna put about three of them in a pot. So what I'm doing is just making enough space here for the root area, and then just gently placing it in. And then I'm pressing down. That way it'll have about four or five inches before uh, the roots actually touch the bottom. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. And like I said, I'm gonna do three, because when I plant this out in the garden, it'll have a nice bush, we'll have three of them three stalks coming out. And then I'm gonna just do another one on this side. I'll put the first one, you can see the little roots coming out. And push down gently. And now that's good to set in the shade for a day or two. And then I'll start bringing it into partial sun. But there we have it. So I was really excited. Um, in August here, I think, I believe this is why these, right now it's um, big first of August, the beginning of August, and we have high humidity. I believe it's like 90% humidity and high heat in the 90s. And those are the perfect conditions that uh, plants like to root in. So if you don't have that high humidity, you can put um, a jug on top, like a milk jug or a like a clear soda bottle or put a plastic clear bag, but then it can't touch, the plastic can't touch here, so you can put some sticks in it if you don't have that high humidity. But here we do, so I don't need to do that when I first started rooting these. And I believe that's why it only took them, I think it was nine days before I started seeing those roots at the bottom, which is really quick. And here are the coleus plants just a few days after potting up and we had a huge rainstorm last night and they must have grown an inch with that beautiful rainwater. 
They are just huge. So I'm going to give them another uh, week in the pot, and then I'm going to plant them out in the garden. But I just wanted to give you an update on them. Look at that. That's about eight inches tall now. The first one, first pot. And the undersides of this coleus are really beautiful. So they're going to give some great color in the garden as soon as they get a little bit taller. You can see here on this one right here, the top's been pinched out, so they're uh, branching out on the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pinch out this one here so that they branch out on the side. And by pinching it out, I'm just going to take the center leaves and bring it between my, let's see if you can see, just like that. That way this will branch on both sides here. 